Max here. We're back for some Jenna Ortega, Emma Myers, and Hunter Duhan or Duhan. Not sure. If you're new to my channel, I'm a communication skills coach, and what I do is I look at all different types of people's communication skills. Let's get into this. Jenna Ortega. I'm Emma Myers. And I'm Hunter Duhan. This is Germ. We're gonna answer questions from this cookie jar. Take this guy's head off. Jenna seems like she's a little bit more in character than the last video that I saw her in. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not big on pop, and I feel like a couple years there was a song out called Dance Monkey. If anyone ever play that in my house, they're instantly being kicked out. I'm sorry. What's that one song that we would hear in the Ubers? So she seems to be a little bit more savage here. If anyone ever play that in my house, they're instantly being kicked out. She seems to be a little bit more direct and straightforward. Perhaps just being around a couple of her friends allows her to do that. Or maybe what I'm sensing is she's a little bit more in her Wednesday character here. So perhaps when she gets into character mode, she's able to sort of get into that energy and be a little bit more direct, straightforward, and mean. We played in the Ubers in Romania. It was That's the only song on the radio. That's the only <laughs> song I heard the entire time we were there. I know, we should know it. We've listened to it's it like a hundred yeah. times. It's the one with her kid the in the it. The kid, yeah. I'm so sorry to pink in your child. This is not about you. <laughs> no, this is about not. the amount of times we heard it in Ubers in Romania. Yeah, Emma seems like she's maybe a little bit more on the on the shy side. Not, I'm, not, I'm not big on pop, and I feel like a couple years there was- Hunter seems like a really nice guy. They all seem really nice. It actually feels like a very normal conversation. And although Hunter and Emma were sort of taking the lead in the conversation in that last little bit, it feels like Jenna is really sort of the leader in this crew. You have 69 posts on Instagram. Your first post was posted on March 16th, 2015, from what seems to be a table read for your old show, Stuck in the Middle. Scientifically speaking, sandwiches are foods stuck in the middle of two slices of bread. What kind of sandwich is the best and what kind is trash? What kind of sandwich? Jenna seems to be taking on a little bit more of a stoic energy here. Like when other people are talking, She's sort of in her zone. What kind of sandwich is the best? I'm not sure if she's like playing up the Wednesday role right now. I'm not, I don't. I don't know if she actually is. I think this is just who she is. I don't. I'm I, honest. Honestly, I don't really like sandwiches. <laughs> so do what you will. Jenna, you've said you wanted to become. Sorry. Jenna. It feels like she's being a little more short being a little bit more decisive and abrupt in her answers. I don't really like sandwiches. She's actually taken on a certain confidence in this interview. So I'd be curious to know if she is playing into her character and if that's the case, maybe that character gives her a certain sense of confidence. This thing does not know your no. yeah, dietary I, I, restrictions. I, I, he knows nothing about us, but he came in acting like he was all that, like he had all the answers and he's been nothing but wrong. She's got that sassy side in her, you could feel it. Squirtle? You would be a squirtle. <laughs> Keep going, you're um, doing great. And I guess the noise would be, um, I don't want that to be on camera forever. <laughs> I think we all- Okay, okay. We saw some, uh, some affection there from Jenna directed toward Hunter. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. Hunter and Emma were having a little bit of a connection there and they were joking around. Squirtle. You would be a squirtle. <laughs> and then Jenna like kind of locked in on Hunter. And then once she saw Hunter sort of opening up and laughing and smiling and looking at Emma, Jenna is like looking at Hunter and almost like intercepting that connection in a way. And and like have, trying to have her own now connection with Hunter and like putting her hand on his leg and like laughing with him. Keep going. Um, okay. Keep going. So the noise would be, um, I don't want that to be on camera forever. <laughs> and then like once she noticed that he laughs, she's sort of like mirroring him there. Notice when he goes down, she goes down and laughs and like, huh, interesting. Now, I don't want to jump to any conclusions here, but it felt like if someone was watching this on the outside, which I am, I can see why people might sense a little bit of, maybe a little bit of jealousy there from Jenna. Guys, I'm not blind. I saw that. I know you saw that too. Now, this could just be a friend thing, but I think, guys, I think there could be some real feelings here. I think there could be a little bit of a love triangle here, guys. Woo, spicy, exciting. <laughs> I think we all know the sound Squirtle would make and Do I'm not falling for your game. I don't know what a Squirtle is. Exciting stuff. Hunter didn't look like he was reciprocating the physical affection back to Jenna. Keep going, um, you're doing great. And I guess the noise would be... Uh, Maybe it's because he doesn't want to do that to make Emma feel bad or jealous. 
Now that that's that's you know a, uh, a conspiracy. So awesome. try that chocolate chips. Every time I'm in my kitchen, I grab a handful. Yeah, get in. <laughs> I got them. They're good. Oh, it's uh, they're both free. Hunty. Uh, you're from Fort Smith, Arkansas, the third largest city in Arkansas. Lung again, again, with the leg tap. Smith, Arkansas, the third largest. Jenna doing that. I think there's sort of an element in, of control involved with that. Like she's sort of, you know, controlling the situation here and 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 establishing this sort of connection with Hunter. And I've noticed Jenna, I don't know if she's really like looked at Emma it's to like it a hundred yeah. times. It's the one with her kid the in it. The kid, yeah. I'm so sorry to paint it. I'm not saying they're they're on bad terms or anything like that. Definitely can't make that conclusion. Perhaps they're 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 close or they're friends too. But from this interview, it certainly seems like Jenna and Hunter have that stronger connection than Jenna and Emma. And Emma and Hunter also seem to have a connection as well. Do you know what the largest organ is? Skin. Skin. Sorry, continue. <gasps> Seven, eight, nine, 14, 15, <laughs> 16. 38 seconds. 38. I knew you were counting too slow. Oh, am I? And then Hunter made an effort to engage Emma there at the end. I knew you were counting too slow, looking directly at Emma. I knew you were counting too slow. Now let's watch Jenna's reaction. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm done. Was that super entertaining? 38 seconds. 38. I knew you were counting too slow. Oh, am I? She kind of looked at Emma really quickly. I want nothing to do with this guy. Check out Wednesday. Only on Netflix. Sort of brought the attention back to the center. Woo! That turned out to be quite interesting. Yeah, I definitely sense that there could be a little bit of jealousy there with Jenna. Guys, if you want to watch my uncut reaction and analysis, along with my first uncut reaction of Jenna Ortega, all you need to do is go to my Patreon page. I've included the link in my description below. My name is Max. I will catch you soon. Peace.